Okay, good. Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. Woo! And we'll just crash into some things. It is Saturday of Thanksgiving week, so we've had a couple of episodes this week of just logging. All the wood is gone, and we are now in March. So, it is time to get with the uh, agricultural stuff. And to that end, we have, I think, at least two fields that need some lime. I might check our uh, the field we're going to plant the soybeans in and have a look at that too. But we have leased this nice little lime spreader. Bought a couple of bags of lime. We do have a pellet of lime back at the ho uh, back at the farm. I don't know how big it is. More, more um, accurately, how much lime it has left in it. But we're using the uh, store's bag lifter. Just barely on the limits of what this. Uh, oh, what this tractor can actually lift. Unaided. I mean, we have no wheel weights. We have no rear weight. We're just. Okay, back this up. Um, connect the thing. And open the lid, put the thing down, that's the thing, it was fine when it had lime in the detection, load, load area detection range, but as soon as I picked up the last bag and moved it, the lid closed. Okay, 14,000 litres of lime for this spreader. So seven bags will fill it. At this stage, I'm not sure that that's actually all the lime we need or whether it's just um, all the lime we can carry. Uh, we select the thing. I do like this uh, big bag lifter. Very, very handy. And that sh oh, that's not even half of it yet. So as I said, we've got at least two fields need to be lined. And uh, which are from our winter purchases. The field that has soybeans on it, I really don't know um, what states that's in. Now we're probably going to have to keep this tractor for longer than I thought we would. Because even once everything's said and done, if we're going to load consumables at the store. That's okay. We are going to have to bring a tractor of this size. Uh, down here to pick up the big bags and use the lifter. Other than, otherwise we're going to have to have a a bigger piece of store equipment for use in loading lime spreaders and the like. For seeds, when we're not too, you know, seeds, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, we have the um, 
silos at the farm to actually have those delivered directly and we can load straight out of the silos and unload straight into the silos but for herbicide and lime that is not an option but there are some other silos that we could avail ourselves of and actually installing the farm I mean if we move our arable operation to the new yard I believe the seed silo can hold minerals so what we could do is um, have minerals delivered to our current yard and seed delivered to the new yard still don't have any way to uh, deal with lime and herbicide so yeah once this tractor gets too old we are going to have to look at something a similar size with front loader options now I know Valtra fits the bill um, Massey Ferguson fits the bill don't know that John Deere does um, what's the other tractors out there um, New Holland doesn't I think the T6 is the biggest tractor when it comes to um, fitting front loaders I don't think you can install a front loader on a T7 though there may be a mod T7 that we could do okay so this field here we are definitely planting soybeans in so we're not planting this until next month pH value is good, so we've just had one harvest off this. This is no big deal. We do not need. We could, if we've got any leftover lime, we could come back and lime this field, but to be fair, it's fine. Probably ought to check this field too. Um, again, pH is 0.25 off perfect, so it's fine. So it's just the new fields. We may have some lime left over. I need to make sure that this is on auto spread, of course. Yes. Uh, tractors maintained and fueled. We're good for a day of work in this thing. Not sure what other tractors we have that we could look at but it's really a, a 7 series um, I think the Massey 8 series can carry a front loader um, but I think as we go along we, we do want two front loaders at the farm um, with decent um, elevation because that's always a good thing. Now, if we got a telehandler, uh, I don't know. We'd still want what we have. All right. Let's not drive on this nice man's grass stuff, whatever that is. And this field here is, we'll jump out, is a horrible pH. We are going to be going through lime like it's candy. Sugar. Probably sugar. It's white. I'll 
do the headland by eye. Try not to get any lime on the Land Rover. And then once we've got the outer edge done, I will uh, set up uh, GPS so that we can run, probably doesn't matter, um, I was going to say, so we can run more efficient uh, rows, but efficiency is just how much diesel we use, it's not going to be how much lime we use, it doesn't double spread when we're on automatic. So lime you really always want to spread on automatic. The manure I am not. Um, I'm basically setting up the field for approximate levels of nitrogen. And then we'll come back once the crop's in and growing and use the crop sensors to get the best nitrogen application. turn off now because we're over an area which already has lime. Okay, slight miss on the left side. The thing is, is we are, uh, because of the automatic sensors, it's not going to spread lime uh, where I missed a bit. At least most of the times. So I've got to be fairly accurate doing this. Oops. See that patch there, I didn't, yeah, it's, it's not showing lime, but I'm not going to get any in there. Or I'm not going to get the texture change if I drive over it. This is a nice, oh crikey. Okay, we have used an absolute ton of lime on this field. Admittedly not so much of a surprise considering how bad the lime was. But I think the other field is bigger, so depending on what pH level it's running, we may, uh, I'm pr pretty sure we are going to have to go back to the store and pick up some more. And quite possibly a full tank as well. patch there. I am going to need my own lime spreader at some point. We lease this one. I don't, yeah, obviously I don't need lime spread that frequently. Um, it's really only when we buy a new field that uh, it's, uh, it's a thing for us at this point, plus annually for the thing. Okay, let me have a look at pH. Yeah, see that was almost red. This is yellow. It's still going to need a fair amount because it has to be brought up to this shade of green. So yeah, there's going to be a ton of it. And obviously the plan is to buy the field on our right, which is huge, probably very expensive, plus I think it's at plus 75% value at the moment, so not something I'm going to spend money on. In 
field to our left, we again, we could knock out part of the hedge here. And again for this one, so that we get easy access to both those fields from this farm track. We don't have to go out on the road. Okay, how's this looking? So yeah, this field again definitely needs lime. We do, I have added lime contracts, so there is the possibility we could pick some up. Now because lime equipment is cheap to lease, um, that does mean that I could do a lime contract with leased equipment. And be a little bit further to the left, there we go. Now the tractor's not going to kill any weeds because we're running narrow tyres on this. We are not getting very far around this field at all. There we go. We are empty. So I guess we're heading back to the store. I hope slurry doesn't react badly with lime. Just thought. So right, so once this field has been limed, we can come back here and actually get it planted. <coughs> the field in front of us, I will probably... Hmm, probably grab the John Deere and uh, spread slurry on it. So we do have how many tanks there? Four. That's good. Obviously I'm really looking at uh, doing lime one day. You know, all the lime in one day. We currently got one grass field. The uh, the oat field may be a little low on lime at the end of this year as well. Um, but because you cut grass three, four, five times a year, it's going to badly affect the pH, which badly affects the environmental score, which affects what we can sell stuff for. So there will be at least one incidents of lime spreading at the end of the year probably prior to the last harvest so that uh, or the last grass cut so we can maximize that Of course, the nice thing about the lime spreader is you can fit a lot of stuff in it. So, as I said, I think we've got a partial uh, bag of lime back at the farm. Once we've finished liming the field that we're doing, I can drive back to the farm, top it off with the partially filled bag, and then unload into yeah, the most efficient number of bags. Hi Ranger, yes, I remember. And welcome to the stream. Lots of points, huh? Yeah, I still haven't got round to finding things to do with the points, so uh, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, we're doing well. Um, obviously Thanksgiving just passed, so we had the turkey and the stuff. And uh, we are still streaming on Saturdays. This series is Farm Sim 22 on Maypole Farm. Uh, no, 
don't drop that off yet. Open the lid, then drop it. Oh, lime. Seven. Bye. And, uh, oh, let's grab the, the thing. And we did have a couple of episodes early on uh, where Cavalier Roy, the, uh, the guy who created this map, popped by to see how things were going and keep us appraised of the updates he was doing on it. I think the map's now considered to be complete. So, uh, we're all good. And connect. So yeah, we decided for this series we're playing start from scratch. So it's literally we have no money, we have no it's very little land and what have you. We are playing precision farming, we've got maze plus installed. So there's a lot of uh, game elements to get used to. Which I think we're doing okay. With Maze Plus, the cows need a lot more food. And um, they produce a lot more milk. And we're certainly finding that out. Um, well, that's not entirely what I had planned, dude. Uh, and as you can see, still getting used to somewhat the uh, how to get the thing you want to attach um, if you have a piece of equipment highlighted it will detach that so I just selected the tractor which means just attach whatever I'm close to that's eligible it appears that when we entered the line bags switch the selection to the bag lifter. Yeah, like that. I wasn't paying attention. Um, <laughs> streamer series. Um, yeah, I must admit, I tend, I tend to be like that for other games. Um, and the problem is, is usually I play them so infrequently that you know, I'll start, I don't know, Transport Tycoon or a, 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 a tactical or strategic game. Um, I don't have it, but something like, uh, what's it, Terror Invicta is the new craze. Um, and I'll start one and play it for a couple of days and then put it down and I won't come back to it for about four weeks and when I come back to it it's like I just don't know what I'm doing I'm just gonna start over and similar is true with farm sim um, when farm sim comes out I'll play a map and I'll play it for a couple of weeks and then I won't have time and so when I come back to it it's like oh there's a bunch of new maps and I've forgotten what I was doing now the way I've gotten to play the same series is one, play it regularly. Um, so this series we're playing at least once a week, on holidays we're playing it every holiday day and occasionally then some for things like Thanksgiving we don't work the day after so right, this is actually the third stream in three days. Um, but you're playing it frequently you're remembering what you're doing um, and then set yourself a goal so for the Oakfield farm series our goal was to have 1500 sheep 
Um, I wouldn't suggest a goal of owning the entire map because that will take you ages. But if you think, you know what, I want to play this series until I own everything, then, you know, I, I'm not going to say don't do it. I'm just going to say that um, doing it is going to be quite a big thing. Um, just, as I said, just set yourself a goal. Uh, oh. Let's try and actually select attach rather than so for old Baileron um, I don't know I mean it, it, a goal could be as simple as I want to make 10 million dollars or I want I'm going to play with seasons on and I'm going to play 5 years and then we're going to see how far how well we did in 5 years and you could use that goal as the goal every time you play is to say, okay, my goal here is to play this map for five years and see how well we did. And, you know, starting from scratch or farm manager or whatever, or from new farmer, just select a start and then say, this is what I'm going to play. And then when, you, when you've played for the five years out, you can see how well you've done, how much of the map you've owned, how much money you've got, how much equipment you've got. Maybe sell all the fields that you own, sell all the equipment you own, and get a money total. And then pick a new map and repeat the play, but on the new map and see if you do better, worse, or whatever. Yeah, 100 hours. Um, how well have you done? Um, that's an interesting... Uh, thing. Uh, yeah, we're already up to 237, and I just missed my turn. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you can do it as a limited time. 100 hours. I wouldn't suggest less than 100 hours. Um, but, yeah, it, it can be Game time, it can be play time, yeah, real, real world play time. It could be until I get 500 sheep, until I make 10 million dollars. Yeah, there, there's all sorts of things you can do. But set yourself a goal, and then you've you've got a reason to play the same map. Yeah, until you reach the goal. And then when you've when you've reached the goal, you can either say, well, I'm kind of enjoying this series. Um, stretch goal, let's... Yeah, what, what's the next thing I want to achieve? Um, and then, yeah, reevaluate. Sometimes it could be as simple as, I want to own the biggest field on the map. And we're going to go until I own the biggest field on the map and harvest it once. But a goal will keep you coming back to the game save. Um, and each time, and you know, a 